Hey, so today we are talking about something super awesome. Um, I've been working on this piece and it's been a lot of fun and I really wanted something that was going to be like maximum impact. So we've been talking a lot about metallics and of course with the holiday season, uh, metallics are super huge and also on trend for next year. So that's nice to consider, uh, but they're also wicked fun. So this is a different kind of metallic look. So last week we were working with General Finishes um, and they have the pearl effects, which are really translucent and kind of pearly. Um, and we'll have that piece to reveal to you probably tomorrow, if you know, if all goes well. Um, but with this one, we're actually working with gold leafing. So I don't know if, it, if many of you have tried this before, but it was really cool and I started doing it and let me know what you think. Um, I see some of you popping on, so I'd love to know, um, I don't know, what your thought process. Have you used gold leafing before? Because this is really cool and really quite easy. So I'm gonna show you what I did and then I'll show you what I did. So I'm Kelly with Captiva Home. Thank you for joining me. Let me know uh, where you're watching from, whether you've used this before, what you think. Um, this is emerald green with lamp black by General Finishes mixed. And then we did a little detail glaze with the pitch black. And then what we're using is the gold leaf by a maker studio. So have you guys heard of this yet? It's a brand new company, but made up of all these people that are fantastic and doing it forever. And this is like really cool. So the link to check it out and to buy the stuff is in our notes up there. So you can just go to a makerstudio.com slash Captiva home. And that's where you can find all this stuff. So we have this gold leafing and then we're going to be using size. So what this is, is kind of like, um, it feels a little bit like glue. And then that's what used to stick down the gold leafing. And then they also have some super cool like stencils and paints and we're going to get into all that later. Um, but today we're talking about the gold leafing. So super fun. Um, I have all my supplies. So you need the gold leaf itself. Um, and then we need the gilding size. So that's what this is. And I'm going to show you what I did. So this was something that I did earlier today. Um, and already I found some um, improvements that I can make the next time. So when you're working with a furniture piece or you're just starting out painting, start with small pieces, work up your um, confidence and your skills and um, you know your technique before you jump into the big one. So what I did with this is I did a sign um, last week, and this was my first experience with gold leafing recently, um, and it was a lot of fun. It was super cool, and I love how the texture came up, and it's just really interesting. So that was my first shot. And then with here, um, I did that earlier today, and I wanted to get a feel for it, because I want a very like organic movement across the piece, um, kind of like a wave or a paintbrush. Um, I don't want it to feel like, Yellow Brick Road, uh, it's not what I'm going for. So hopefully we can avoid that. Um, but I have my gilding size, which is two ounces, and this will last a long time. So I wanna say it was like seven bucks and it'll last for a long time. So I have that. I also have a Maker Studio brush that I'm gonna use. Um, you could also use like a foam brush or a chip brush. Um, that's not super important. Although I have noticed that sometimes you'll have brush strokes and that's not what I'm going for. So already I've realized that what I want to do with this is probably more of like a dabbing motion. And you can use this gold leafing on all kinds of different projects. Um, of course, I go right to furniture, um, but you can also use it on like frames or you'll see a lot of like mirrors that have gold leafing. And, or you can also do silver leaf or copper leaf because we have that too. So definitely playing with that. Um, but, oh, you can also do like wine glasses. So that's another thing that we'll be doing. Uh, pillows, like I've seen really versatile applications for this. So the way that I started, let's see if we can get this on nicely. All right. So I know we're right up close today. Um, what I like is more of a kind of like dabbing motion because I wanna see a, see that? Um, yeah, so like, right, it looks like blue. 
It's basically what it is. Um, and we're gonna let that dry for a little while. And then I'm gonna come in and put the pieces of gold leafing where I want them to be. I want this to just kind of spill over the side. That's what I'm going for over this side. And then on the front, I did this a minute ago and I'll show you, now we get to do the actual gold leafing. And I don't want this to dry out, so I'm just sticking it in my little baggie. Easy. Clean that up later. Uh, because this we're gonna let set up for 10 to 15 minutes is kind of ideal. Um, you wanna let it get tacky and also translucent, or clear. Um, right now it's kind of translucent. And then it's ready for the gold leaf. So let's spin this around. You can see how it really is very solid right here. Not loving that part. Um, I'm more interested in oop, this area over here. We can get there. So I like this kind of broken area down here. I think that's a lot more fun. So that's what I want to do with, I want it to spill over a little bit more. Let me see if I can get this on camera nicely. That should be good. Oh, so let me know. I know you guys are just jumping on. Um, so I'm Kelly with Captive Home. Today we're doing gold leafing, and that's super fun and super different. So we're working with this a Maker Studio gold leaf, and I'm really excited about it. So let me show you the other colors while I was just thinking about that. So this is gold, and then they also have these colors. So we have silver leaf, copper, and then variegated copper. So those are gonna be really fun. I'm definitely getting some of those soon. Um, and it's all available on our um, website that I have linked in the notes there. So you can check that out. So this is the gold leaf. And a few minutes ago, I came in and I did the same um, application of the gold sizing over in this area. But you can't see it right now um, because it has already started drying and it's now tacked up and ready to accept the gold leaf. So I hope that you're gonna be able to see this well um, because it looks really cool. And the gold leaf is this really thin, thin, thin um, sheet of imitation gold. This isn't the real stuff. Uh, the real stuff is wicked expensive. Um, but let's see if we can show. So I'm not even gonna be able to grab it. Uh, this is one of the gold leaves. So you can see how thin it is and it's really just wavy. Um, don't do this somewhere where there's a lot of wind because your gold leafing may blow away. And it's kind of messy. So don't do this anywhere that you can't make a mess. So what I like to do is kind of just grab some odd pieces and then I'm just gonna stick them on. You can apply the whole sheet of it, but I've already figured out that I don't quite like that application. I wanna see some more irregularities. So I'm just taking odd pieces, there we go, um, and sticking them on to create a very organic look. And then I like to just tap them in, into place, and then I'll come in and alter that. So see how it's just kind of building up there? So, and this is going to obviously travel. Um, I, want, I want it to be like a wave kind of cascading down. So that's what I'm going for. And this is not the easiest shot to get, so I do apologize, but we'll be doing this again, so don't worry. Um, whoop, and it's all so sticky, and also um, it all blows away. So I don't have any fans on out in the shop today, but even just me breathing and talking is kind of blowing this stuff around. So now that we have some in place a little, can you see that? Kind of. Uh, so what I like to do is kind of tap it in because I'm looking for that mottled look. I like a really, like in here, it's kind of wrinkly and um, I think really interesting looking. And then over here, um, I put the full like sheet of it on and I don't quite love that. So this is what happens as you get to know a product and use it more. You figure out things that you like and ways to manipulate it in an ideal fashion. 
So here, I'm just kind of tapping it in, um, and I'm gonna build this up as I go because I don't know exactly how it's gonna land. And then I'm thinking it might have some cascading to the feet a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to breathe it in. And I'm also trying not to make a mess, but it's a little late for that. So I have gold flakes all over the workshop now. Um, so that should be fun. And then, so I have this brush and this is just a chip brush. Um, ideally, if you were doing this like professionally, um, you would have a, I think it's a squirrel hair brush that is the ideal for golding, gold leafing um, and gilding is what this is called. So gilding is actually like a, mm, a traditional method and a lot of people really like it. Um, and it's very, you know, some people are professional gold, gilders. So in here, all I'm doing is tapping it in because I want to get it to stick to that sizing, which is that adhesive. And then I want the spots that are not sticking to flake off. So that's the ideal there. Let me see if I can like bring you down a little bit. I wonder if that might help slightly. So hold on a second. I know this is gonna get weird. All right, oop, that's not gonna work like that. Okay, so now you're right up in there. And we'll do like this. So again, Kelly with Captiva Home, trying to get you a good shot so you can see. So bear with me for a second. All right, so that is the gold leafing down here. So it is not quite solid yet. And I don't want a like full solid gold application. I mean that it has not um, settled into the right spots. So I'm kind of moving it around. Um, I want to brush off all the little bits that are not um, sticking anywhere. So once I have it settled, um, a little bit of a stronger hand. And then you can also let it dry a bit and then buff at that point. So I think this is like a really fun, like, look how organic it is and like so interesting. I think it's great. I hope that you guys like it too, because I'm gonna do this a lot. Um, and I will be sharing it with you as we go. Um, I'm definitely ordering some of that. Make me better. Um, copper and the silver leaf. So we'll play with that soon. And then I don't know if we'll do any more of these like waves. I kind of like them. Um, that's a form that I, that appeals to me. So as long as other people like it a little bit, we'll probably do stuff like this. Um, you can also do like, you know, you can use the adhesive as, as part of like your stenciling. Um, so you could do all kinds of different applications with it. You can do like lines or um, wine glasses is something that we're gonna do soon. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Um, but what this is, is just that gold leafing. Um, we did the general finishes, uh, milk paint in emerald and lamp black, and then the gold leafing with the Maker Studio gold. And that is linked in the notes. So you can check that out, because this is, I've been really happy with all the stuff. And then on Friday, I'm gonna show you how to make that sign. So I think that's gonna be fun. And I hope that you will join me because we're gonna do something like this. Um, I'll do it live, unless I get my new stuff first. So if that happens, then we'll do something else because I'm getting ready for holidays. And I think these are great techniques and really crafty fun things to you know, bring to you guys and do with you guys. So thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, the Maker Studio Gold Leafing is the product that we're working with. Um, and let me know what kind of questions you have because I'm gonna keep going with this and we'll see how it goes. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be fun. So thanks, have a great night. I'll talk to you soon.